The video that we have for you today contains some very exciting news concerning a huge development that Senator Bernie Sanders has made. He has proposed a new strategy that has the potential to increase the amount of Social Security checks that millions of Americans receive by an additional $2,800. People who receive SSI, SSDI, VA benefits and senior citizens will benefit from this boost which will provide them with greatly needed financial relief. Determine the individuals who are eligible for the higher benefits to ensure that you are aware of whether or not you or your loved ones are eligible. We will go over all of the specifics. Learn how the increase of $2,800 will be applied to your account. In order for you to obtain this additional support, we will walk you through the process and any steps that you need to do. Find out more about the idea that Bernie Sanders has put out, including when these changes would go into effect and what you can anticipate happening in the months ahead. Become aware of the ways in which this rise can favorably impact your day-to-day -day life as well as your financial security. A discussion will be held regarding the ways in which an additional $2,800 might assist with expenses such as housing, healthcare, and other necessities. Through the implementation of this idea, the most vulnerable populations, such as senior citizens, veterans and people with disabilities, will receive the essential assistance they require. We will investigate the ways in which these alterations have the potential to enhance the quality of life for a great number of people. There are financial advantages. We will discover the ways in which this rise in benefits might contribute to the growth of the economy by giving people who are in greatest need of it more purchasing power. We are interested in hearing your views and opinions. Feel free to share your ideas and experiences in the comments section below. With an additional $2,800, how would it affect your life or the life of someone you know? Participate in conversations with other members of our community who are also impacted by these shifts. Your experiences and comments are extremely valuable and they have the potential to assist in increasing awareness of the significance of this idea. A bold idea to increase Social Security payouts by $2,000 per year has been suggested by Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent from Vermont. This action has the potential to assist millions of Americans with the much needed financial relief they require, some of the most. Disadvantaged parts of the population are especially targeted by the plan. These sectors include people who receive Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Veterans Benefits and Senior Citizens. In the midst of growing worries regarding the rising cost of living and the dwindling purchasing power of fixed income, Sanders, who has been an advocate for expanding social safety nets for a long time, presented the plan. As a result of inflation rates reaching all-time highs, a significant number of people who receive Social Security have discovered that they are having difficulty affording fundamental necessities such as food, housing and, uh, and medical care. Sanders stated in a statement that we need to take action to preserve the financial well-being of our elderly citizens and the individuals who are most vulnerable in this day and age. When 50% of older Americans do not have any savings for retirement and millions of others are barely making ends meet. It is the intention of this plan to provide immediate relief to those individuals who have made significant sacrifices for our nation with the goal of ensuring that they are able to maintain a basic quality of life during their golden years. In the event that the proposed increase of $2,800 is accepted, it would constitute a substantial enhancement to the average monthly Social Security retirement payment of $1,670, which would be equivalent to an increase of about 14%. SSI participants whose maximum government payout is currently $914 per month for an individual could experience a significant change in their lives as a result of the additional money potential impact. Additionally, Sanders' proposal aims to address the specific issues that veterans and people receiving Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI confront. When it comes to covering necessary expenses, a significant number of veterans, particularly those with service-connected impairments, rely significantly on their benefits. On the other hand, recipients of Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, sometimes confront expensive health care costs and limited employment options. The proposed increase would be funded from a variety of sources, including lifting the cap on Social Security payroll taxes for high-income earners and instituting a tiny wealth tax on the ultra-rich. Both of these measures would work together to provide the A. It's necessary funding. Sanders contends that these legislative proposals would guarantee that the wealthiest citizens of the United States contribute their proportionate part to the funding of essential social programs. So, nevertheless, the initiative is confronted with considerable obstacles in Congress, where Republican members have generally opposed proposals to extend entitlement programs and boost taxes on the wealthy. Those who are opposed to such policies claim that they have the potential to hinder economic growth and discourage investment, which might potentially undermine the long-term viability of social security program. A significant number of advocacy groups and organizations that represent senior citizens, veterans and people with disabilities have expressed their support for Sanders' idea throughout the country. The American Association of Retired Persons, RP, op, which is one of the main lobbying groups in the United States for senior citizens, has lauded the idea as a step in the right track. According to Senator Sanders' proposal, Social Security benefits have failed to keep pace with the rising cost of living for an excessive amount of time, leaving millions of retirees and disabled Americans struggling to make ends meet. Senator Sanders' proposal acknowledges the urgent need for action and provides a much-needed lifeline for those who have contributed to the system throughout their working lives. 
Veterans organizations have also expressed their approval of the proposed increase, emphasizing the specific difficulties that veterans confront in their daily lives now that they have served their country. Our nation's veterans have sacrificed so much for our freedom, and yet many find themselves struggling to afford basic necessities after leaving the military, said disabled American veterans Dave Achim, National Commander Andrew Marshall. This increase would go a long way in ensuring that those who have served are able to maintain a decent standard of living. The potential impact of the $2,800 increase cannot be overstated. For SSI recipients, who often rely on their benefits as their sole source of income, the additional funds could mean the difference between homelessness and a roof over their heads. For SSDI beneficiaries, the extra money could help cover the mounting costs of medical care and daily living expenses. Seniors who often face the dual challenges of fixed incomes and rising healthcare costs could find newfound found financial security and independence. The proposed increase could help alleviate the burden on families struggling to support their aging loved ones, allowing seniors to maintain their dignity and quality of life. Furthermore, the influx of additional funds into the economy could have far-reaching ripple effects, stimulating local businesses and communities that rely on the spending power of Social Security recipients. Economists argue that every dollar spent on Social Security generates approximately two dollars in economic activity, underscoring the potential economic benefits of Sanders' proposal. Uh, however, critics of the plan argue that increasing Social Security benefits and raising taxes on the wealthy could have unintended consequences. Some conservatives contend that expanding entitlement programs could discourage personal responsibility and savings, while raising taxes on top earners could stifle job creation and economic growth. While we understand the need to support our most vulnerable citizens, we must be cautious about implementing policies that could undermine the very foundation of our economy, said Phil Kirpin, president of the conservative advocacy group American Commitment. By impeding economic progress and limiting chances, increasing taxes on enterprises that are successful and contribute to the creation of jobs could eventually be detrimental to the same individuals that this policy seeks to assist. Both parties are in agreement. And that it is of the utmost importance to address the financial difficulties that Social Security recipients are experiencing. In light of the fact that the United States is currently struggling with the issue of the long-term viability of the Social Security system and the effects of an aging population, suggestions such as Sanders have the potential to act as a catalyst for reform that is desperately required. Ultimately, the fate of the $2,800 increase will most likely be decided in the hallways of Congress, which is a place where partisan politics and ideological divides frequently come into conflict with the urgent needs of Americans who are vulnerable. Supporters of the plan continue to harbor the hope that a spirit of compassion and bipartisanship would prevail, so assuring that those individuals who have made significant contributions to the fabric of our society will be able to enjoy their golden years with dignity and financial security. One thing is abundantly evident as the nation impatiently awaits the result of the situation. A heated discussion over the function of the government and the responsibility of protecting the well-being of its residents has been reignited as a result of the battle to defend and strengthen social security, which has once again taken center stage. In light of the ongoing discussion on Senator Sanders' plan, it is essential to have a solid understanding of the historical background and basic principles that underpin the Social Security program, a guarantee against poverty and economic hardship for the aged and disabled inhabitants of the nation. Social Security was established in 1935 as part of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. Its primary purpose was to provide assistance to retired and disabled citizens. Through the course of several decades, the program has developed and grown, including a number of adjustments and legislative changes with the purpose of enhancing benefits and ensuring the organization's long-term sustainability. Nevertheless, there are many who believe that the system a, has not been able to keep up with the ever-evolving economic landscape and the ever-increasing cost of living, which has resulted in a significant number of beneficiaries having difficulty meeting their basic needs. This problem is going to be tackled head-on by Sanders' proposal, which would provide a significant boost to Social Security payouts and provide a lifeline to those individuals who have paid to the system during their whole working years. The senator from Vermont has been a staunch supporter of the cause of bolstering social safety nets for a considerable amount of time.